All right, welcome everybody. Thank you guys for coming this evening. I appreciate it. This is the grind. You ready to get all hot and sweaty? No? Some are saying yes, some are saying no. That works. That's perfect. Awesome. Well, all you guys are familiar with the Chaturanga breakdown, so I don't have to give that to you tonight. So let's just get started in a child's pose. And just extend the arms long and begin to allow your heart to melt towards the earth and deepen the breath. Begin to relax the shoulders. Sink the hips down into the heels. You can spread the knees wide or they can touch. And just breathe in patience. Breathe in gratitude. Breathe in empowerment. Breathe in acceptance and unconditional love. And begin to feel peace. And extend the arms just a little bit longer and feel the heart melt down a little bit further. And let's start that breath of fire, the Ujjayi breath. So as you exhale here, release all the still air, all the toxins, all the pollutants, everything that's built up from the weekend, bring the navel to the spine. And inhale for one, two, three, four. Pause. Exhale, sigh it out the mouth, just let it all go. We're gonna do that one more time. Slow, deep inhale for one, two, three, four. Pause. Exhale, release, sigh it out, let all the tension, all the frustration, any anxiety, release it completely, totally. Now seal the lips and continue that breath on your own. Your breath should be audible. There's a little restriction in the back of the throat. Just imagine you're fogging up the mirror first thing in the morning. A little ha sound. And today allow the length of your breath to match, to mirror the length of your movement, slow, Beautiful, oceanatic breaths and slow, beautiful, oceanatic movements. Now at any point, you need a little break, a little rest, an opportunity to reset. Child's Pose always welcomes you with open arms. You can also hold downward dog or forward fold. All three give you the opportunity to completely reset, restore, and resync. As you exhale, melt down just a little bit further. Open the heart. On your next inhale, rise to a tabletop. Hips are directly over the knees. The shoulders are over the wrist. Kiss the shoulder blades. Lengthen the spine, crown of the head towards the tree of life at the front of the room. And then inhale to cow pose. Drop the belly, bring the crown of the head up towards the heavens. And as you exhale to cat, drop the heavy head and begin to curl the spine. Inhale to cow, lower the heart. Open the clavicle as much as you can. Then exhale to cat, press firmly into the hands, broaden the shoulders, bring the navel to the spine. Now continue on your own, slow, beautiful, oceanatic breaths and slow, beautiful, oceanatic movements. Close the eyes and begin to feel this in your body, in your mind, your heart, your soul. Everything begins to fall in place in tune and frequency. Begin to feel more alive than you have felt in a long time. To begin to feel more inspiration here, more enlightenment more joy. On your next exhale, return to a flat back, a tabletop. Inhale, press into a high plank. Shoulders are over the wrist. The heels are over the toes. Tuck the tailbone. Bring the navel to the spine. Now breathe in patience. Breathe in trust. Breathe in integrity. Take one more strength building breath in. Exhale to down dog. Raise the hips, bring the navel to the spine and just begin to pedal it out here. Slowly and gently. Now press firmly into all 10 fingers, especially the pointer finger and the thumb. Now get all that suction completely out of the palm. Raise the very tips of the fingers up. Rotate the biceps outward. The right one's clockwise, the left one's counterclockwise. Relax your head, your neck, your shoulders. 
allow the heart to begin to melt towards the thighs. Now bring the navel into the spine. Bend the knees as much as you need to. Sink the heels down into the earth. And don't forget your ujjayi breath. That breath of fire, slow, deep. Inspirational breaths. Take a big inhale here. Exhale, sigh it out, let it all go. Now inhale, switch the gaze, bend the knees, press with the hands, slowly travel to the top for ragdoll. Feet are about hip width distance apart, and there's a generous bend in your knees so much that your chest resides completely on your thighs. You can grab opposite ankles, opposite elbows, in front or behind the knees. You can even clasp at the lower spine. And as you inhale, feel the spine lengthen. Crown of the head melts towards the earth. As you exhale, the heart begins to find the thigh. Feel the stretch in the back of the legs, in the sacrum. Slow it all down. Take one more inhale here. Exhale, release. Fully fold forward. Palms find the earth. Now he'll toe those big toes to touch and slowly and gently rise up and stack one vertebrae directly on top of another. And once you get to the top, draw the shoulder blades down the back, bring that navel to the spine, hands come to prayer, thumbs at the sternum and raise your chin. And breathe in integrity. Breathe in honor. And breathe in empowerment. And close your eyes and set your intention for today. Maybe this week you just want to celebrate. And you can also dedicate this practice to somebody you know. You can send them a healing energy or you can dedicate it to yourself to send yourself that own positive vibe. Or it can be a phrase or a mantra. You can remind yourself with each cycle of breath that you're bold, that you're creative, that you're courageous. Go ahead and set your intention now. On the next inhale, bring the arms and the gaze up overhead for a mountain. And ground down those feet down into the earth, so rooted, so connected, so nurtured. Stack the knees directly over those ankles. Tuck the tailbone, navel comes to the spine. Biceps are by the earlobes, shoulders draw down the back. And just gaze here with the lens of acceptance. Completely and totally. No judgment. No criticism, no comparison of who we were yesterday, who we are today, or who we might be tomorrow. Truly feel the unconditional love that resides within this room. The unconditional love for yourself and for others. And if you have any weight, any burdens, any stress, any fear, let it fall off the back. Let it fall off the shoulders. Begin to feel the elation. Begin to feel the freedom here. As you inhale, reach and gaze up a little bit higher towards the heavens. As you exhale, fully fold forward, hands through heart center. Then inhale to halfway lift. Palms can be on the shins, up by the knees, possibly the ankles. Could be those fingertips even find the earth. As you inhale, draw the shoulder blades to where they kiss. Lengthen the spine, crown of the head towards that tree of life. As you exhale, release, forward fold. Now inhale, halfway lift. Palms find the shins. Exhale to a high plank. Palms find the earth. Shoulders are over the wrist, heels are over the toes. As you inhale, tuck the tailbone, engage the core. Lean forward a couple of inches. Exhale, gently lower down to the earth. Elbows graze the ribs. Now inhale, begin to open up for a low cobra. You press firmly on the tops of the feet. Kneecaps rise off the earth. Tuck the tailbone. Shoulder blades draw down the back. On the next inhale, bring the crown of the head up high towards the heavens. As you exhale, melt down to the earth. Let it all go. Inhale, press into a high plank, top of a push-up. Exhale to a down dog. Raise the hips, bring the navel to the spine. Pedal this out. And now begin to connect physically, spiritually, mentally to this practice. Come back to your intention of what brought you here today. Empowerment, encouragement, knowledge, wisdom. Maybe you just want to celebrate with each and every breath. And listen to your body. Anything that's a little tight, a little sore, a little tender, a little achy. Find your edge today, but never cross over. Always truly listening to your body. We're going to go through that sun A two more times. Let's sink our breath. Take an inhale here. Exhale, sigh it out. Let it all go. 
Now inhale, switch the gaze, bend the knees, press with the hands. Exhale, travel to the top. Inhale, halfway lift, kiss the shoulder blades. Exhale, release, forward fold, navel to the spine. Inhale, rise to mountain, to feel bold, to feel courage. And as you exhale, bring the hands to the heart, to Psalmist to He. Now inhale, mount with a little back bend, opening the heart up towards the heavens. And as you exhale, you fully fold forward, connecting the head and the heart all the way down to the earth. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to a high plank. Shoulders are over the wrist, heels are over the toes. Inhale, tuck the tailbone, engage the core. Exhale, gently lower down to the earth, elbows graze the ribs. Now inhale for a low cobra, crown of the head up towards the heavens. Exhale, melt down to the earth, third eye touches the earth. Inhale, press into a high plank. Exhale to a down dog. One more time, inhale, switch the gaze, bend the knees, press with the hands. Exhale, travel to the top of the mat. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, release, forward fold. Inhale, rise to mountain and remember what you're reaching and what you're offering this week. And as you exhale to Psalmist Titihi, completely come into your intention. Now inhale, mountain, more of a heart opener. And as you exhale, fully fold forward, connecting all the elements of the psyche. Now inhale, halfway lift. Exhale through a chaturanga. And as you inhale and hinge and pause for up dog, press firmly on the tops of the feet and the palms, draw the shoulder blades to where they kiss. Begin to open the heart from the front, the back, and all sides. Take one more inhale, bring the crown of the head up towards the heavens, release that lower spine. Exhale, curl the toes, raise the hips for down dog. Just a few deep breaths here. Begin to feel the difference already in the mind, the body, the soul, as everything begins to fall into place and to sink. Now we're going to go through a little sun B once just to warm up, and then we'll do a sun C a couple of times. Let's sink our breath. Take an inhale here. Exhale, sigh it out, let it all go. Now inhale, switch the gaze, bend the knees, press with the hands. Exhale, travel to the top. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, release, forward fold. Inhale to chair pose, Uttakatasana. So big toes touch, knees touch, inner thighs touch. Now tuck that tailbone, bring that navel to the spine, biceps are by the earlobes, shoulders draw down the back. As you inhale, lengthen, stretch everything you can. As you exhale, sink those hips, pelvis down. Make sure you can see all 10 of those toes. Take one more inhale, lengthen, bring that left leg up, and as you exhale, come into an eagle. So left leg is over, left arm is under, or you can hug yourself. Either way, elbows come up to the chin. And find a drishti here, find a focal point, something that's constant in your life, that's unwavering, that's static. As you exhale, sink down a little bit lower. Now inhale to Uttakatasana, in a chair pose. As you exhale, release, forward fold. Now through the sequence, as we inhale, we're gonna either halfway lift or go into crow. So go ahead and hop into your crow. Now you can keep the heels a little bit off the ground or keep them on the ground or toes can stay on the ground. It's completely up to you. If you're comfortable, you can jump back into a chaturanga. Take one more inhale here. Exhale to a chaturanga. Inhale, hinge, open that heart, release that spine, exhale, curl the toes and raise the hips for down dog. Inhale, right leg rises, exhale to a high lunge, so that right knee is directly over that right ankle. As you inhale, spider tip the fingers, lengthen the spine, as you exhale, sink the hips, the pelvis down into the earth. Inhale, rise into a crescent lunge. 90 degree bend in that right knee, hips, pelvis are neutral, engage that left leg, that back heels over the toes. Lengthen and open up, reaching towards the heavens. Take an inhale here. Exhale, open it up to a warrior two. 90 degree bend in that right knee, weights in the knife edge of that left foot. Shoulders are stacked over the hips. Tuck that tailbone, bring the navel to the spine. And gaze over that front middle finger. As you exhale, melt down a little bit further. As you inhale, straighten that right knee, lengthen the spine. As you exhale, hinge over to a triangle for three beautiful breaths. As you inhale, twist and draw that left side body up towards the heavens. As you exhale, melt the right side body down into the earth. Inhale, we open up to the spiritual side. Exhale, we connect to the physical. Feel beautiful, feel bold, feel elegant. Take one more exhale here. Now inhale, bring the hands to the heart. As you exhale, side squat, skandasana to the front of the mat. 
Inhale, lengthen, stretch the spine. Exhale, sink the hips, the pelvis down. One more cycle. Inhale, lengthen, crown of the head towards the heavens. Exhale, pelvis, hips. Now drop that right palm onto the earth and come in to a side plank. Now you can do the supported, right knee can find the earth, right elbow can find the earth. Raise those hips, lengthen. Now through the sequence, we're gonna hold this for one breath. So on the exhale, you can come into a tree, elbow and knee can meet, you can just hang out here. Exhale here, inhale, hinge over, high plank. Exhale through a chaturanga. Inhale, hinge, open the heart, pause, release that lower spine. Exhale, curl the toes and raise the hips for down dog. Inhale, switch the gaze, bend the knees, press with the hands. Exhale, travel to the top of the mat. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, release, forward fold. Inhale to Uttagatasana, chair pose. Once again, tuck that tailbone, navel to the spine, biceps are by the earlobes. On the inhales, you'll lengthen, stretch. As you exhale, you'll sink it down lower. Make sure you can see all 10 of those toes. Smile. Take an inhale here. Exhale to eagle, right leg over. Right arm under. If your shoulders are tight, just hug yourself. Elbows come up. Find your dristi, your focal point. Something constant in your life. Something stable. Something that's always there. Exhale, sink down a little bit lower. Inhale to chair, Uttakatasana. Exhale, release, forward fold. Inhale to crow or halfway lift. Heels come off, toast can stay on. Exhale through a chaturanga. Inhale, hinge, open the heart and pause. Exhale, curl the toes and raise the hips for down dog. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale to a high lunge so that left knee is directly over that left ankle. As you inhale, spider tip the fingers, a little up dog in the chest. As you exhale, sink the hips, the pelvis down. Inhale, rise to crescent lunge. Tuck the tailbone, navel comes up, heart begins to open. Back heel is over the toe, engage that right leg. As you inhale, sink down a little bit lower. As you exhale, open it up to a warrior two. And place the weight in that knife edge of that right foot. Front ankle's in line with that back arch. Now stack the shoulders right over those hips. Think about the back of the head all the way to the tailbone. It's all one line. You know we lean forward all day, so bring it back. Then bring it back a little bit further. Now inhale, straighten that left knee, lengthen the spine. Exhale over to a triangle for three beautiful breaths. As you inhale, now bring that right side body up towards the heavens. As you exhale, melt that right side body down, or the left side body down to the earth. Inhale, you connect, reaching up. Exhale, melt it down. One more cycle. Slow, beautiful breaths. As you exhale here, Inhale, bring the hands to the heart, connect. Exhale, bend that left knee to skandhasana, side squat to the front of the mat. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, sink the hips, the pelvis. One more cycle of breath. Inhale, lengthen, stretch. Exhale, melt it down. Now plant that left foot coming into that side plank. Rainbow those hips, you can support that knee, whatever you need, you can go to the forearm. Take an inhale here. Exhale, elbow and knee or tree, whatever variation you want. Now inhale, hinge over to a high plank. Exhale through a chaturanga. Inhale, open that heart up more. Exhale, curl the toes, raise the hips for down dog. Take a few deep breaths. We're gonna start that sun C. We'll go through it nice and slow. Some of it we'll do breath to movement, some of it we'll just pause, but then we'll end up going through it two more times, breath to movement. Let's sink our breath. Take an inhale here. Exhale, let it all go. Beautiful, now inhale, switch the gaze, bend the knees, press with the hands, exhale, travel to the top of the mat. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, release, forward fold. Inhale, rise to mountain, to feel so beautiful, to feel so bold. As you exhale, connect that right foot down into the earth. Then inhale, bring that left knee up. You can support it here and bring it out to the side. We're gonna to go to tree. Hand can be on the heart, hand can be on the hip. Take another inhale. Then exhale to your variation. You can kick center it at the ankle, draw it up to the calf or the thigh. Please do not place it on the knee. Now tuck the tailbone again. Lengthen the spine. Exhale here. Inhale, hinge over to warrior three. Hands can be at the heart, airplane in front, behind. My favorite, fingertips find the earth. 
lengthen and stretch everything you can on the inhales. As you exhale, hinge over a little bit further. Take one more inhale and exhale to standing split. Palms find the earth. Relax the head, relax the neck, relax the shoulders. As you exhale, that heart finds the thigh. Exhale, sink down a little bit lower. Now inhale, plant that back toe and come up to a crescent lunge. Beautiful. As you exhale, twist, left arm in front, right and back. Inhale, lengthen the spine as much as you can. As you exhale, draw that right shoulder further back. Now inhale, fill the heart, the soul, the lungs full of joy. Exhale, twist a little bit further into the pose. Now inhale, bring it back for revolved crescent lunge. Right palm finds what it can on that left thigh. Breathe and stretch on that left rib cage up towards the heavens. As you exhale, sink it down a little bit lower in that front lunge. Take one more inhale, lengthen and stretch. As you exhale, bring everything forward for revolved side angle. Inhale, twist and draw the right shoulder up towards the heavens. As you exhale, sink the hips, the pelvis down into the earth. Now inhale, coming up, crescent lunge, perfect. Exhale, open it up to a warrior two. Lengthen everything you can here. Take a big inhale. And as you straighten that right knee, exhale over into a triangle. Now inhale, bring the hands to the heart. As you exhale, bend that right knee. Go down to side squat. Now plant that right palm on the earth. Inhale into side plank, supported. As you exhale, elbow and knee meet, tree meet, whatever it is. Inhale, hinge over, high plank. Exhale through a chaturanga. Inhale, hinge, open that heart, release the spine. Exhale, curl the toes and raise the hips for down dog. Inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, that right knee to that right tricep. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, chaturanga push-up. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, bring that knee towards the nose, curl the spine. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, chaturanga push-up. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, that right knee to that left tricep and twist. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, chaturanga push-up. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, down dog. Now inhale, switch the gaze, bend the knees, press with the hands. Exhale, float to the top of the mat. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, release. Forward fold. Inhale, rise up to mountain. As you exhale, plant that left foot to the earth. Inhale, bring that right knee up for a one-legged tree. You can support it with this right hand. Palm can be on the hip. And as you exhale, plant it at the ankle, calf, or thigh. Palms can be at the heart. Exhale here. Inhale, hinge over to warrior three. On the inhales, lengthen and stretch as much as you can. As you exhale, hinge over at the hips. Arms can be long in front, behind, airplaned. Or at the heart, you know my favorite, fingertips find the earth. Take one more inhale, lengthen, stretch. Exhale to standing split, palms find the earth. You can wrap them around that left ankle. Once again, as you inhale, lengthen and stretch the spine. As you exhale, that heart finds the thigh. Now inhale, plant that back toe as far as you can and coming up to a crescent lunge. As you exhale, twist, right arm in front, left and back. Inhale, fill the heart, the lungs, full of gratitude, full of patience. As you exhale, twist and draw that left shoulder a little further towards the back. Inhale, lengthen, stretch the spine. Exhale, twist a little bit further. Now inhale, bring it back. Revolved crescent lunge. Breathe and stretch that right waistline up towards the heavens. As you exhale, sink down lower into the lunge. Left palm finds what it can on that right thigh. Take one more inhale, lengthen here. Exhale, bring it forward, revolve side angle. Inhale, twist the left shoulder up towards the heavens. Hands can be at the heart or you can airplane them. Exhale, sink the hips, the pelvis down. Inhale, rise up to crescent lunge. Exhale, open it up, warrior two. Beautiful. Now inhale, lengthen that left knee, the spine. Exhale to a triangle. Inhale, bring the hands to the heart. Exhale, down to the side squat. Inhale to side plank. Exhale, rainbow those hips, tree, whatever you need. And inhale, hinge over, high plank. 
Exhale through a chaturanga. Inhale, hinge, open that heart. Exhale, curl the toes, raise the hips, down dog. Now inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, that left knee to that left tricep. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, chaturanga push-up. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, bring the knee towards the nose, curl the spine. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, chaturanga push-up. Inhale, stretch it out, three-legged dog. Exhale, that left knee to that right tricep and twist. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, chaturanga push-up. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, down dog. Take a couple of deep breaths here. Lengthen, stretch. All right, we're gonna go through that and we're gonna add on one more little pose. Let's sink our breath. Take an inhale here. Exhale, sigh it out, let it all go. And bring both of those sequences together. Now inhale, switch the gaze, bend the knees, press with the hands. Exhale, travel to the top. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, release, forward fold. Inhale, bring that left knee up, one-legged mountain. Then exhale to a tree. Inhale, hinge over to warrior three. As you exhale, just keep on hinging, standing, splits. Now inhale, plant that back toe and come up to a crescent lunge. As you exhale, twist, left arm in front, right and back. Inhale, bring it back, revolve crescent lunge. As you exhale, bring it forward, revolve side angle. Now inhale to crescent lunge. Listen for the change. Exhale to an eagle. Take that left leg over, left arm under. Beautiful. Now inhale to chair, Uttakatasana. Sink the hips low as you exhale to fully fold forward. Now inhale to crow or halfway lift. Exhale through a chaturanga. Inhale, hinge, open that heart. Exhale, curl the toes and raise the hips for down dog. Inhale, right leg rises. Exhale to a high lunge. Heel to heel alignment. Rise up to a warrior one this time. Left toes are pointed towards that left top corner of the mat. Shoulders are stacked over the hips. Sink the hips and the pelvis down. Inhale, open the heart, reach as high as you can. Bring the hands to the heart. Exhale to humble warrior. Take that right shoulder inside of that right knee. Now bring that left glute up in front. Take that right glute back. Exhale, draw the shoulder blades. As you inhale, take that left heel over the toe, kind of crescent lunge, but we're going to a humble warrior. Lengthen and stretch that whole left side body. Right knee, right elbow can touch or it can be close. Take one more oceanetic inhale here. Exhale, open it up, warrior two. Inhale, straighten that right knee, lengthen the spine. Exhale to a triangle. Inhale, bring the hands to the heart. Exhale, bend that right knee, side squat. Inhale to a side plank. Exhale to tree, elbow and knee meet, whatever you need. Inhale, hinge over, high plank. Exhale through a chaturanga. Inhale, open the heart, pause for up dog, release that spine. Exhale, curl the toes, raise the hips, down dog. Inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, that right knee to that right tricep. Inhale, stretch it out, three-legged dog. Exhale, chaturanga push-up. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, bring the knee towards the nose, curl the spine. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, chaturanga push-up. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, that right knee to that left tricep and twist. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, chaturanga push-up. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, switch the gaze, bend the knees, press with the hands. Exhale, float to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, kiss your shoulders. Exhale, release, forward fold. Inhale, bring that right knee up, one-legged mountain. Then exhale to a tree. Inhale, hinge over, warrior three. Exhale to standing splits. Inhale, plant that back toe coming up to a crescent lunge. As you exhale, twist, right arm in front, left and back. Big breath in, bring it back, revolve crescent lunge. As you exhale, take it all the way forward, revolve side angle. Perfect. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale to an eagle, right leg over, right arm under. Inhale to Uttakatasana, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to halfway lift or to a crow. Exhale through chaturanga. Inhale, hinge, open that heart again, release the spine. Exhale, curl the toes and raise the hips, down dog. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale to a high lunge, heel to heel alignment. As you inhale, rising up to a warrior, one. 
Right toes are pointed towards that right top corner. Shoulders are stacked over the hips. Inhale, sink down lower. Bring the hands to the heart. Exhale to a humble warrior. Left shoulder inside of that left knee. Draw that right glute forward. Kiss the shoulder blades. Engage that right leg. As you exhale here, inhale, bring that right heel over the toe for fighting warrior. Bring the navel to the spine. Lengthen and stretch that whole right side body. Think about the toes lengthening all the way to the fingers. Take an inhale here. Exhale, open it up, warrior two. Inhale, straighten that left knee, lengthen the spine. Exhale to a triangle. Inhale, bring the hands to the heart. Exhale, side squat to the front of the mat. Inhale to side plank, supported, however you want it. Exhale to your variation. Inhale, hinge over, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, hinge, open up. Exhale, curl the toes, raise the hips. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale that left knee to that left tricep. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, chaturanga push-up. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, bring the knee towards the nose, curl the spine. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, chaturanga push-up. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale that left knee to that right tricep and twist. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, chaturanga push-up. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, down dog. Breathe deep. And feel the difference in the heart, the body, the soul, the mind. Feel so alive here. Now inhale, switch the gaze, bend the knees, press with the hands. Exhale, travel through. Come to a seated position. We'll do a little core. Let's do yogi bicycles. So gently lower down to the earth. Knees are at least a 90 degree angle. Toes are towards the knees. Hands are lightly behind the ears. Take an inhale here. Exhale, take that right armpit towards that left knee. Extend that right leg straight. Now inhale, knees meet, shoulders find the earth. Exhale, that left armpit towards that right knee. Left leg is straight. Inhale, knees meet, shoulders meet. Exhale, twist over to the left and pause. Inhale, release down to the earth. Exhale, connect to the heavens. Now continue on your own, a slow, beautiful, controlled breath where your breath is your guide. Your breath is in tune with your body. On each exhale, reach further. Extend your gratitude. Extend your empowerment. Extend your enlightenment. One more on each side. You guys look great. Now extend those legs. Rock and roll a few times on your spine. Make your way all the way back to a down dog. And gently lower down to the knees. Then lower all the way down to the belly. And just lengthen those arms, the feet. So bring the arms as close as you can to the front. Take those toes as far to the back as you can. And just stretch. Slow down your breath. Clear the mind. We're going to go into bow pose. So bend those knees. Grab what you can, the feet or the ankles and bring those knees to touch. Now slowly and gently just press the hands into the feet, the feet into the hands. And begin to open the heart from the front, from the back, from the sides. Feel it open. Feel the connection, feel the overwhelming joy. Breathe in overwhelming joy. And breathe in gratitude. Take one more inhale. Exhale, release. Feet. Fingers, everything lengthens. Superman out as much as you can. Just lengthen everything you can to the front, to the back. Now slowly bend those knees. Palms come to the ankles. Prepare for bow or the feet. Now press the hands into the feet, the feet into the hands. Feel the thighs lift off the earth, the heart. Feel the lungs expand. All right, now just listen. Slowly release that left side down to the earth. Lengthen and stretch. And then go into a sideways pose where you take that right shoulder over the left. You can rest your head on your bicep. Or if you want, you can grab that foot with both hands.
Two more breaths. Begin to pause a little bit longer on the tops and the bottoms of your inhales. Inhale here, exhale, release over to the belly. Release the clasp and lengthen the arms, the feet, everything you can. Now bend those knees again and come back into bow. Grab the feet, the ankles, and press the feet into the hands, the hands into the feet, open the heart. Just feel the difference in the right and the left. Not criticizing, not comparing, not judging. Now slowly, gently release the right leg, the right palm, forearm, and twist over. Draw that left shoulder directly over the right. Now you can grab that foot with just that left hand or you can grab it with the right. Breathe deeper. Take an inhale here. Exhale, gently release over to the belly. And lengthen everything you can one more time. Fingers, toes, all the joints, all the ligaments, all the tendons, all the muscles. And one more time for bow. Bend those knees, grab those ankles, the feet, and open the heart as much as you can. Stretch, press firmly the hands into the feet, the feet into the hands. And gently release down to the earth. Come up to a tabletop and prepare for heroes. So you can use a block if you prefer. We're gonna be here for a couple of minutes. So if you wanna start with it at a higher level or a medium level, or not at all. And then if it's in your practice and you can, you can go all the way down to the forearms or all the way down to your back. You'll be here for a few minutes. Just feel that stretch in the thighs. Find that methodical, soothing breath, the oceanic breath. Begin to relax. Even when times are difficult or tough, we breathe. We breathe through it. The more relaxed we are, the more empathetic we are, the more connected we are, the more understanding we are. When we become agitated or stressed, we lose that breath, we lose the connection with ourselves and others. Now slowly, gently, take your time and rise up. And then come to the top of the mat and grab your strap. And we're gonna do Lord of the Dance. So take your strap and make a loop about arms width distance apart. Unless you're not very limber like me, then you make it a lot longer than arm's length. And then just place that strap around the ball of the foot and then bring it around and try to keep those hips in line and just pull and bring that foot as close to the head as possible. And just even it out. You can bend the knee a little bit, just feel connected. And just breathe in your balance. Breathe in fortitude. Breathe in grace. And when you're ready, you can just switch sides. You can always use a wall or the pole if you need to, to help you with your balance. Find that dristy, that focal point.
about another 30 seconds or so. Just take your time. And when you're done, just meet back at the top of the mat, back into Samastitihi, how we started. And tuck the tailbone, bring the navel to the spine, draw the shoulder blades down the back. Hands are at prayer, thumbs at the sternum, raise the chin. And once again, just breathe in integrity. Breathe in honor. Breathe in pride. Now let's prepare for tree. So connect that right foot down into the earth. It's rooted, grounded, stable. Slowly, gently bring that left knee up and open it up. Take it as far back as you can. Kick sand at the ankle, draw it to the calf or the thigh. Please don't place it on the knee. And grow your gratitude, your fortitude, your enlightenment. Feel weightless. Feel limitless. As you inhale, bring the gaze, the hands up towards the heavens. As you exhale, connect to the heart. Slowly, gently bring that left knee over and connect it to the earth. As tall as you are, it's rooted and nurtured and connected. Slowly, gently bring that right knee up and rotate as far back to open the hip. Kick in at the ankle, drop to the calf of the thigh. Please do not place it on the knee. And continue to bloom and blossom and flourish. So we plant those seeds of love, the seeds of joy, of patience. We manifest that beautiful harvest that nurtures ourselves and this entire community. They feel our love, they feel our joy, they feel our peace. As you inhale, reach and gaze up towards the heavens. Exhale, bring the hands to the heart. Slowly, gently bring that right knee over. Now inhale to mountain to feel that long line of energy, that loving line of acceptance. And as you exhale, fully fold forward, connecting everything through the psyche again. Inhale, halfway lift, kiss the shoulder blades. Exhale through a chaturanga. Inhale, hinge and feel a complete, total liberation. As you exhale, curl the toes, raise the hips to down dog. Now inhale, right leg rises. Exhale to a half pigeon. So the knees next to the wrist, the foots in the groin area. Gently release that left leg to the earth. Inhale, spider tip the fingers, lengthen the spine. Look over the shoulder, make sure that foot's in a line. As you exhale, sink the hips, the pelvis down to the earth. Inhale, open the heart, the head towards the heavens. As you exhale, hinge at the hips and connect to the earth. And melt your heart. Let it grow roots to the earth below you. As you truly feel that unconditional love, you truly feel accepted. You feel whole and complete, cherished and adored. Allow the back of the heart to connect to the heavens above you, the spiritual side. You breathe in that overwhelming joy You feel the enlightenment. You feel the peace as it flows through you. Now allow the sides of the heart to open up to the people in this room, to the people in this community. They feel that beautiful vibrational force. They feel your acceptance. They feel your unconditional love. As you exhale, slowly, gently walk the hands underneath the shoulders, engage the back leg, and inhale to a three-legged dog. And stack that right hip over the left, bend the knee. Now you can do big hip circles, or you can flip your dog. Whatever serves you today. Continuing to reach for gratitude, for love and patience. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale to a half pigeon, so the knees next to the wrist, the foot's in the groin area. Gently release that right leg to the earth. Inhale, spider tip the fingers, look over the shoulder, make sure that foot's in a line. As you exhale, sink the hips, the pelvis down to the earth. Inhale, open the heart, the head towards the heavens. Exhale, reconnect to the earth. Deeper. 
and slow down the breath even more and relax. Just feel the healing energy as it flows through you. That our healthy cells vibrate at a higher frequency than the unhealthy cells. And feel that ripple effect as it flows through you now. The wounds, the scars, any perils from the past. They become beautiful, they become positive. Enlightened. As you exhale, melt down a little bit further. Walk those hands underneath the shoulders, engage the back leg, and then inhale to a three-legged dog. Now stack that left hip over the right, bend the knee. You can do big hip circles or you can flip your dog. Extending your reach of gratitude, of love, of overwhelming joy. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, down dog. Now gently lower down to the knees. And allow those glutes to find the earth. Bring the legs out in front of you for a seated forward fold. Now you can take it traditional, you can take it wide, anywhere in between. Just take it for a few breaths. So as you inhale, lengthen the stretch, draw the shoulder blades. As you exhale, hinge at the hips, palms, find the shins. Inhale, lengthen, crown of the head towards the heavens, shoulder blades kiss. Exhale, hinge at the hips, allow the heart to begin to find the thighs. One more cycle of breath. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, melt all the way down. If you have any anxiety left, frustration, fear, just let it go. Become free here. And find that life without borders, without restrictions, to be so bold, to be so courageous, to be so free. As you exhale, melt over just a little bit further. Inhale, slowly, gently come up to center. Bend the knees a lot, then lower all the way down into the back. Now hug the knees into the chest and gently and slowly rock from side to side. Once again, where the length of your breath mirrors, it matches the length of your movement. It's slow, it's beautiful, it's ornate. Now pull that right knee into that right armpit. Extend that left leg straight onto the earth. Feel the stretch in that left calf. Left quad, hamstring. Allow that left shoulder to find the earth. As you inhale, pull it down a little bit further. As you exhale, supine twist. Twist over to the left. Right hip stacks directly on top of the left. Let the shoulders fall down. You can gaze over that right shoulder. I feel so blessed, so holy. I feel so loved here. Feel your heart expand and open up. Feel overwhelming joy. As you exhale, melt down just a little bit further. Inhale slowly, gently bring that right knee up. Realign the hips on the back of the earth. Hug both knees into the chest. And once again, oceanetic breaths. Oceanatic movements sink from side to side, swaying from left to right, in tune, in harmony. Now pull that left knee into the left armpit, extend that right leg straight. Feel the stretch, the calf, the hamstring, the quad. As you inhale, pull that left knee down a little bit further. Exhale, supine twist to the right. Stack that left hip directly on top of the right. Relax your shoulders. And if you want, you can gaze over that left shoulder. I 
feel a complete total transformation from the inside out. Yoga is truly that transformational art that changes us, changes our hearts, our mind, and our soul. It changes our appearance as we find more joy, as we find more happiness and contentment, we express it with our eyes, with our face. As you exhale, melt down just a little bit further. Inhale slowly, gently bring that left knee over, realign the hips, hug both knees into the chest, and once again, slowly and gently rock from left to right, from right to left. Now happy baby, dead bug, or plow. Yogi's choice. As you inhale slowly, gently, bring those knees into the chest, forehead comes up to touch, and then exhale for Shavasana, final resting posture. Place the palms up, take up as much room as you need to on this mat, and release completely your ujjayi breath, the tongue from the roof of the mouth. Any tension in the jaw, through the back of the neck, through the shoulders. Through the triceps, the biceps, relax your elbow, your forearm. the wrist, all through the hands, the palms, the fingers, the front part of the body, the chest cavity, where the lungs and the heart reside, through the stomach and the core, all your organs, your kidneys, colon, liver, relax the pelvic region, your glutes, all through the legs, the hamstrings, the quads, the IT band, the hip flexor, the psoas. Relax your knees, your calves, your shins, ankles, feet, toes, and the soles of the feet, that which touches the earth. Feel a sense of empowerment, of overwhelming joy as it flows from the soles of the feet up the body, through every cell, through every fiber, out every pore, all the way to the crown of the head. Now feel enlightenment as it flows from the crown of the head down through the body, through each cell, each pore, each fiber, out. All the way down to the soles of the feet. And for the next couple of breaths, just allow the mind to escape the body completely and totally. Where you come into a trance, a state of in and out of consciousness.
slowly and gently. Begin to connect this mind to this spiritual vessel, this body that we reside in, full of overwhelming joy, full of overwhelming love, of acceptance, of healing energy. Now gently begin to reawaken the body. And grace the thumbs over the fingers, and wiggle the toes. Find gentle movement in the hands, the feet, the wrist. And a symbolism of a fresh start and a new beginning. On the next inhale, bring the arms up overhead for a long, beautiful body stretch. As you exhale, draw the heels into the glutes. And slowly and gently rotate over to the right side. Using your bicep as a pillow and place the left hand on the heart. And just fall madly in love with yourself. As you remember, your heart is your companion for life. And then it beats 100,000 times a day. With each beat, find gratitude, find acceptance, find peace. Slowly and gently push yourself up to a seated position at the top of the mat. Hands at prayer, thumbs at the sternum. Now the eyes can be shut down or just a soft gaze. And continue to allow your breath to guide your movements, your heart to guide your thoughts, and your soul to guide your beliefs on and off the mat. The teacher in me appreciates, honors, respects, admires, but most importantly loves the teacher in each and every one of you. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Thank you so much for spending time with me this evening. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Namaste. Thank you guys.